Stuck in Ireland, a local man falls seriously ill during a family trip. He's been in the hospital for weeks now, and he may not return home for months. The young man nearly losing his life, but tonight there is progress on his road to recovery. Our Joanne Pileggi with the story from Bucks County. I honestly didn't know that night whether I was bringing my son home in a coffin. Like intellectually, I understood that this could go bad. I had some dark moments. Like Levittown residents Sandra and Greg Small talking to us via Zoom from a small town on the west coast of Ireland where they'd been on vacation and where their 21 year old son's health problems started and quickly deteriorated just before New Year's Eve. A combination of flu and pneumonia nearly took Matthew Small's life. Doctors gave a harsh prognosis. Oh, he's going into complete organ failure. Um, you know, he's, he's critical. We're doing our best, but we can't make any promises. And there they were at a medical center three and a half hours from Dublin. Doctors wanted to transfer Matt, but at first he was too weak. I put it out there. I said, you know, all my prayer warriors, I said, I don't care who you pray to. And um, I said, but I need prayers. Sandra was born in Ireland, but the Smalls are well known back at home. Greg, a detective in Falls Township, his colleagues at the police department were worried, but willing to help however they could, as Greg couldn't come home. His workload, we told him right from the get-go, don't worry about anything back here. You know, he, that, that'll get taken care of. His main focus should be on his family, on his son. Matt, a student and graphic design artist, turned 21 in the hospital in Ireland. And just today, after three weeks, spoke his first word. But he's likely to spend another three months in the hospital in Ireland. Friends here started a GoFundMe for the family, and they've been overwhelmed by the love and support. Never in a million years did we think that it was going to get to this level. The Smalls are grateful for all of the prayers and support. While they do have family in Ireland and they do have insurance, the expenses are adding up, and Matthew still has a long road to recovery. In Levittown, I'm Joanne Pileggi, Fox 29 News.